could you do without IT? Whether at work or at home, using social media, or busy as a consumer, our lives are more dependent on it than ever before. In fact, if it wasn't for IT, everything would likely grind to a halt. So does this ubiquity, a complete reliance on IT, mean that we're all in the IT business now? Lots of people use IT without knowing how it's built or how it works. Children today, for example, have never been more technology savvy. They all use a huge amount of IT and much of what they care about depends on it completely. But they aren't doing the IT. They don't involve themselves in how it all works. They just get on and use it. Our reliance on information technology is really only possible because it's now so easy to use and so widely available. Today, technology simply works straight out of the box and online applications are on all the time. Questions about how to set it up and get it working in our day-to-day -day lives are a thing of the past. But hang on, making IT and the infrastructure it runs on just as simple at work is still a big challenge for many organisations. Whether constrained by legacy systems or seduced by the idea that a complex, in-house, do-it-yourself approach gives great control, business decision makers often haven't asked themselves. Is your organisation a user of IT or does it build IT infrastructure? But delve deeper into this question and the answer becomes a little clearer. For example, how much time and effort should an organisation spend on building and running the underlying infrastructure as opposed to concentrating on building value for customers and the business? Think about it. Many of us are totally reliant on our car, but few of us still service our own car and even fewer build one. And as autonomous cars become a reality, well, no one's going to be allowed to touch their IT, are they? Similarly, ask a CEO what trade body they would prefer to represent their company and most would name one that directly reflects their business's core target market. Few would choose an IT industry association. So if your organisation isn't actually in the IT infrastructure business, if information technology isn't the value you deliver to your customers, how do you decide what IT infrastructure you should run and who to trust to do what you don't need to? One yardstick might be, only do the things that create value because other people don't do them. Or if other people can do it better, they should do it. Importantly, how do you decide on the right partner to do the rest? The IT stuff you don't want to do or don't need to do. If it's important and you depend on it, then they'd better be accessible, flexible and trusted. Ideally, it should be a partner that cares about the success of your business and can give you what you need, when you need it and how you want it. And that's who we are at Flexion. We love talking to customers about their businesses and about what hosted IT infrastructure can help them achieve. Come and have a chat.